All right, today I'm going to show you how I use a clipping mask to make my pattern look a little grunged. So you can see here I have my two layers. I've got my polka dots and then the solid color background. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer here in between the two. And then I'm going to make sure my color over here is set at the same color as the background. All right, so then I'm going to hit B to get my brushes. And I'm going to come up here and select this sponge brush that you've downloaded. All right, and then I'm going to choose the one that I want. I said, all right, there it is. I want that one. And I'm going to make it a little smaller usually around 200 um, pixels is good. All right, so 250. So I'm going to go ahead, come over here, and I'm going to stamp on this new layer that I've made. But first, let's go ahead to layer two, right click, say create clipping mask. All right, so they've disappeared. So I'm going to go back to layer three here with my brush and start stamping. All right, there you go. So you can see that it's starting to appear. Okay. So if you have a hard time seeing this, we'll go release clipping mask and then layer three and we can start making our design like this. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so I think you get the idea. Come back here, create clipping mask, and there you go. So maybe add a few more. So you just continue on like that until you are finished. So then to give it a little more texture, I will go to find my overlay. All right, drag this in here. Okay, we really want this up here. And then we'll set this to overlay. How's that look? All right, there you go. That is how I make my papers.